Evaluate expressions and order of operations. Well, evaluate means to find the value of, and a numerical expression is a mathematical phrase. It's a math sentence that doesn't have an equal sign. And the order of operations tells us what order we should follow to evaluate a numerical expression. So an equation has an equal sign, like this, and an expression doesn't. That's the only difference. In the order of operations, we do parentheses as the first step, any exponents as the second step, little numbers up here, that means 4 times 4, doesn't it? Then we multiply or divide or divide or multiply, whichever is first, from left to right. And then the fourth step is we add or subtract or subtract and add from left to right. And if the expression is missing any of these steps, we just skip it and go to the next one. All right? So I want to show you something before we begin. It would be better if you use a dot to mean multiply or put your number right next to parentheses, like the 7th and 8th graders do. Well, baby 3rd graders use an X, and I'll explain in a second. You just want to make sure there's no operation sign in here, like a plus or a minus or a division sign. It's got to be right up next to the parentheses. So here's why. When you get into 7th and 8th grade, maybe even 6th grade, you, you're going to see a thing called variables, and they're letters of the alphabet that take the place of an unknown number. So, just like in first and second grade, if you saw 2 plus blank, that means there's an unknown number, right? Well, that's what X means. It's a letter of the alphabet that takes the place of an unknown amount. And you don't want to confuse that with multiplication. So it's better to just use the dot or put the number next to the parentheses, okay? So in this one, we have 2 times 5 minus 1. We do the parentheses first, and there's no exponents. So we're going to do a 4, and then we're going to go straight to multiplication. We have 8. There's no division. There's no addition. So we skip those steps, all right? And is the order really important? Well, yeah, it is. If we go straight across, we're going to have 10 minus 2, which is 8, and then adding the 3, we get an 11. But if we do it correctly with the order of operations, we do in parentheses first, we get a 5, and 10 minus 5 is 5. See? In this one, we're going to do the parentheses, then divide, then add. So we're going to start here, go back this way, and then go back that way. We're going to do 5 plus 3 is 8. 40 divided by 8 is a 5. Now we add this 8, and we get a 13. If we had just gone straight across, we would have had 40 divided by 5, which is an 8. Now we would add that 3 and get an 11. Now we would add that 8 and get a 19. That's the difference, see? In this one, we're going to do parentheses, and then we're going to add them together. So we have 12 plus 18 equals 30. If we had gone straight across, we would have had 12 plus 2, which is a 14. Then we would have multiplied it to the 9, and we would have had 126. Hmm. This is the correct way, okay? This is the wrong way. You might have to rewrite and use parentheses. So this would be the wrong way going straight across because I see multiplication here. We would do it wrong if we did 6 plus 12, which is 18, times 8, which is 144, minus 3 to get 141. It's wrong. You want to do the multiplication first. You can put it in parentheses to help you, help your eyes. That means we have 96. We go back to add the 6, then we go back to take away the 3, and we get 99. With this one, I see multiplication. We can't go straight across. If we do it wrong, we're going to get 29 minus 3, which is 26, times 2, which is 52. It's wrong. We have to do the multiplication first, so we can put it in parentheses. We can even put this in parentheses and get a 29 minus 6, which is a 23. All right? Now, when there's only step 3 in your expression, divide and multiply or multiply and divide, we just go left to right. It's only step 3. So we have 5 times 2, which is 10. And if there's only step 4 in your expression, we just go left to right. We have a 4 plus a 3 is a 7. See? Everything here is all step 3. It's the division and multiplication, okay? The problem occurs when we mix step 4 with step 3. Now we've got step 4 addition with step 3 division. Now we have to do step 3 first. Now we have to divide first. So we get a 3 plus the 30 is 33.
This is all step four. It's addition and subtraction or subtraction and addition. We just go left to right. We get a four plus three, which is a seven. But when we mix step three with step four in our expression, now we have to do the multiplication first. So five times two is 10 plus three is 13. See, if we had gone straight across, we would get an eight times two, which is a 16. That's wrong, see? So just remember parentheses, then any exponents, then multiply or divide from left to right or divide or multiply, then add or subtract or subtract and add from left to right, skip the steps that aren't there, and try to use a dot or your number next to the parentheses, but a dot is fine so that you don't confuse it with variables as you get up higher in math, all right? So I hope you have a great day. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next video, all right? Bye.